What's up, y'all? <laughs> we back with another one, and man, we got one for y'all today. We're gonna start off with this topic. Can you love two people at the same time? What y'all thoughts on? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's very much possible. Yeah. It really just depends on the situation, I think. Yeah, all that plus. Yeah, the situation on male and female, or whatever. Either no or, what it like, just. I is. think it really just depends on the situation and who the people are, more or less, kind of. I feel like it would probably be more common with men doing that. Oh, yeah. But then again, like my sister, Ariel loves everybody all at the same time. Brainy loves everybody all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> but so I think but it's you really can. just... But do, do they actually love them or are they just saying? I think Ariel, yes. Brain, I think she's just into it. I've been in a situation where I can be uh, put in that category, and I honestly say you can. You can, like you said, depending on the situation, situation. You can. It's something I believe is very, pretty much true. You can be in love with two people at the same time. No. Yes and no, though, too, kind of, because I feel like for that, in those types of situations, you fall out of love with one person if you're able to yeah. fall in love with somebody I else. get that. I get that. But that's what I'm saying. Sometimes it takes some time to fall out of love. Yeah. So there, there, go, there it goes. You could be in love with two people at the same time. For how long? I don't know. But you might not even fall out of love. You just might not love as hard as the next person. There you go. There you yeah. go. That's probably, I think that's probably more, for more part of what it is. Yeah. So it's very much possible. All the way around. So, that's one of the things that hey, it happens. Yeah. Ain't nothing to hate on. Ain't nothing to hate on. Yeah, you right. know, it happens. Yeah, but a lot of people don't understand it. A lot of people may not understand it, but it might not be for them to understand. If they're not the one who in love with two, with two people at the same time, yeah. of course they might not understand. The two people may not understand. Like, what you mean? Like, the two people that that person about, is yeah. in love with? Yeah. I get, I get they may not understand, but. Like, with a lot of people, they do that behind people's backs, and some people can be out and open with it, but a lot of times, like in a relationship, if you love two people, a lot of times the other person don't know about the other person. That's like, you know, it's like side chick or this whatever that you fell in love with. So a lot of people wouldn't understand it or get it, and then for the people that do, it's because it's kind of more of an everybody thing, more or less, it's just, oh, I love both of these women, or oh, I love both of these dudes, it's. But if you're in an open relationship, you are every party knows the boundaries of that relationship. Yes and no. Or you can technically love a person, break up, you can get with somebody else, you can fall in love with them. Yeah, you ain't fully fell out of love with the person before. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you can love two people at the same time. I feel like to a certain extent, the person got to understand that you're not fully over that person yeah. but how deep can the new love be if you fell that lo in love that quick too though you're still healing from I the past don't, i don't feel really like love oh. have no time period on it yeah. you see in movies you see in real life people fall in love quick that is very much possible because that love will never go away you may forget about it only that part of back, back and yeah. spark back up yeah so it, don't, it ain't like uh you time to heal from this and i feel like no love don't have no time on it I don't have no time frame no, on it. Like I people, people watching TV shows, is. people watching TV shows for a 60, 90 day fiance and stuff like that. Yeah. And we all judge that. We ain't never been put in that situation. But that's, for me, they, they know say that I love jump. you on day three though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's fake, that's TV. No. Like, According to the TV, money. But, yeah. but it's, in real life, it's like that too. You just never know who the people are, what the circumstances was, how much time they've already spent with each other. Stuff like that. I want to throw this out there though, Ken. Like, can you manage loving two people at the same time? No, what do you mean That's manage? Oh. What do you mean manage it? Like, if y'all, if you currently loving them at the same time, spending your time with both of them. Oh, you said spending time with both yeah, of them? Yeah, yeah, if, you, if you're in a position. You How do you manage that? Like, is it manageable or? I believe it is. Is it manageable without them knowing? No. There's no possible way. I mean, you could do it, but it's going to be way. At that point, you might as well. So you saying cheating? Yeah. Yeah. You might as well. You cheating? 
I don't miss person with this person. You fell in love with this one, even though you're in love with this one. Yeah. At that point, it's not even an open relationship. I mean, no. You just no. Cheat. You're saying, cheat. how do you manage that though? Because ninety exactly. percent of what the world is today—that's the situation. But the way Zach was putting it goes with one of my next topics. It's like uh, polygamy relationship. Well, if you go that route, that girl is completely different though, because everybody knows, like everybody's probably in love or. Not necessarily in love, but they get the situation. They came into that knowing. Before, before we like know it's not even necessary, I feel like it is manageable to do that for the fact that if you spend a time with one person outside of the time you are spending with one person, mm-hmm. as long as that one person not asking for more of that, then I feel like that's probably manageable. Like you go to the one that like is actually showing more effort. Is that what you're no, talking no, about? No, he's just no, saying as long as like it's equal. You're just it's talking about just managing. Yeah. Managing the time and like just equal with each other. Oh, well, what are you talking about? So, are you talking about them giving the effort or just you? No, 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 no. No effort. effort like you time. managing, being able to actually do that like at the same time. Like how like, do you make time to be with two people at the same time? That's what he didn't mean. Yeah. Like how do you do it? And it's like, but how would you do that? And it not. Like get fucked up somehow. But peep this though, there's people that already do this for years. Yeah, all the time. So therefore, I, but know, that's uh, why I said, is it hidden or do they know? But that's when you get into his topic, yeah. that open relationship. We're talking about is what I'm tracing, yeah. just sneaking around at this point. Is that what we're, talking, are we talking about? Open or are we talking about just? Sneaking? I was being open. I was okay. being open. Then we're talking about open. Then everybody knows the boundaries yeah. of it. Then that's fine. But we're talking about when it's open or not. I feel like. Managing it. I think it's harder to manage if you're sneaking. It's easier to manage it if it's open. But if you're sneaking already, you already got one person. Well, where are you going? What are you doing? Why ain't you here? I know your work hours. I know what you got going. So what's going on? But if it's open, cool. You yeah. you, and that's a lot man easier to manage. But if yeah. you're sneaking, so something's gonna get thrown so in there. Like, address that. Like which way are you talking? Like sneaking yeah. or open? So that's why I was trying to like break it down. Yeah. But like. I'm just asking y'all if it's manageable, no matter the situation. But yes, I do agree it would be harder. It would be a lot harder, but as we all know, it's manageable because yeah. it's done all the time. It just really depends on the person and what they can, like, if you're sneaking, you already got to have a good mindset. You know what to say. You're already, I mean, you already got a whole plan, so. Yeah. Oh, man, I, I salute <laughs> to the one that's sneaking. Cause it's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. But then to go about that. If a lot of people, if they would just be open and honest, like, hey, I want this, most of the time you can work that out and it will become an open relationship just fine. Yeah. Like, both parties will be okay. You don't have to do all the sneaking. Exactly. We had a, we had a little party last night, a little get together, and that one of the topics came up like that. Like, somebody was going through a situation where she offered her husband to, he was cheating or whatever. Mm-hmm like multiple women and she went out and did her thing and he like told her she wasn't nothing mm-hmm. like completely nothing didn't want to be with her and stuff like that mostly because she slept with a black guy he was white you know what I'm saying she took her but through all the bull stuff that was going on she gave him the option of you can come home be with me and stick around do everything you want to do as long as I know about it mm-hmm. I guess to ease her mind and everything would be alright. He turned it down. Mm-hmm. Me, me, at me, I, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Mm-hmm. She gave you, I don't want to sound cocky or whatever, but like opportunity of a lifetime. Well, I mean, he was already cheating. She is like, hey, I just want to know about it. Just tell me you're going out. She wanted to ease her mind yeah. instead of warning 24 7. And he turned she, it down. Yeah. Dumb. So I was like, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Why couldn't he come home, have everything good there, everything good there, and still do his stuff out there? Now, why why won't that at home fuck up? Now because it's a control issue. But could he get but could he get off of the experience of cheating, the sneakiness of it? Is that he wasn't really sneaking though, honestly. No, nah, he's she already throwing, knew. he's basically throwing it in her face when yeah. he got done or whatever. She already what knew, called. but she just wanted that peace of mind. Hey, be up front, be honest with me. Then it's just it's just he wants the control of the situation. Go. Go. 
But if, if you was in that position, yeah, yeah. If you was in that position, how would you react to that? Really, it just depends because I mean, me and I've been together since you were a baby, so I get the whole wanting something else, needing something else, and to me. If we can be open, it don't necessarily bother me. I know where this man's at. He tells me everything anyway. So if he can be up front and honest with me, I mean, we've talked about this. We've talked about bringing females in. We've checked out females. We've, we're talking about females right now. So it's not like, you know, it's not, you don't have to have that from me. I don't have a problem with it, but I want to be not necessarily included, but I don't want no lies. me and the female got to be cool. Like, I know what you're doing. I know what's going on. Like, we got to be cool. We got to be able to be friends. You got, I'm a family person. My kids are. Like, you're going to be family. If we sit down and take the time to talk, think about the female we've already thought about that, she's got to have the right type of mindset. She's got to know it's going to be family above everything. If you come into this, you're family. So you're going to have to treat it's going to your kids, their family, your family, everybody. It's, you either can get down with it or it just it won't work. Like, I know everything. Nothing's hidden. It's discussed. So, I mean, it really depends on the female. So when you break it down, the question would be, why wouldn't it work? Breaking it down completely like that. Because some females just want, like, it's a concern. I, I, I get it. Some females just want that man. Yeah. But it's not like it. She's supposed to be with you either. Like you said, you, you become a family. Yeah. You're basically my best friend. You know what I'm saying? We go out, we kick it, we sit at home, we kick it, do whatever. I think and a I know lot of people in the world judges it and has something to say. And a, lot like of people, and a lot of people think about what other people think. And when me and O first talked about it, that was kind of me, well, some of the people me and O talked about, like I was this. like, well, what if Zach says something crazy on Papa's ass? What if Logan says something? Y'all know me, I pop, I pop off before anything first, and I'm like, the first time somebody says something crazy, I'm going to pop off, and I'm like, that's that's just, yeah, I, I'm worried about what people are going to think. Like, that's I've always been that way, but at the end of the day, I trust him, and it's, that's really all that matters. Like, I know my mom's probably going to have something to say, but it is what it is. If I'm happy, he's happy, y'all just need to be happy or not. I mean, the way I look at it is like, this is how I've always viewed things. If it's y'all's relationship, the boundaries, the way y'all have your relationship set up, that's on y'all. I have no business in how y'all want to run it. Yeah. Well, I just, you know, I'm real big on slick ass comments. Y'all <laughs> already know that. The first time we get drunk and have a party, I'm going to pop off. Y'all saw me last night. Mm, my mouth is the best of me. Yeah, that liquor got the best of me last night. Not your mouth. This is my over toilet bowl. Wasn't the only one. <laughs> I feel like a major problem with that though would be like if you want to spend your time, but he's out with doing that other time with outside. Ah, uh, but see again, like I said, it's family. It's family. I don't see. I see. Yeah, okay, you're gonna get some time. Yeah, that's gonna happen. But me, I'm a family thing. If this is gonna work, she's gonna have to be comfortable being here as well. Like it's not just. You're taking my man, it's, it's our man. It's gonna be our relationship. It's not yours and his and mine and his, it's ours. That's my big thing on it. Like I'm not, I'm we're not we're just, yeah, like I'm not just letting not him run sick. off. It's either we're gonna be in this together or we're not. And if she can't handle that, then she either, then that just won't work. Because whoever, if, it, if that's the route we decide to go, she's gonna have to understand at the end of the day, I'm off. I'm here and I'm not going anywhere. So coming to think you're going to take something or something, that's not going to work. And we're building something here. We're not just doing this for fun. But I wouldn't come to Josh. No, know. yeah, no, I mean just in general, yeah. anybody. For me, if for anybody to try that, I think it needs to be, I would think it needs to be more of that way. Not like a lot of men want, oh, I want a side piece. You know, I want to have my home, but I want this too. I'm not down for that type of open relationship. It's either going to be all in one or you're going to just, Stay home with your cake, and this is all you get. And I just, my eyes love it, bitch. <laughs> I just think in order for it to work and be that open, it's got it needs to be that way. I don't. I, a lot of people do that and have that open relationship, and I just I don't want an open. Or, I want a family. Yeah. So if you're coming in, either be family or just to me. You know what? We 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 are always gonna be a family. And like, what if y'all had a plan? You know, I'm just talking about some okay. scenario. Maybe not just the relationship. Yeah. We have plans, but he counts it to go do something with the the. the oh, I'm ready to chop. Doesn't that's that's one? Yeah, that's one. no, I'm ready to chop. But at the same time, depending on what it is, what you drop to go do? Is it something emergency wise? Or 
But they're, they're not trying to get it with the last question. Yeah. Though. Well, yeah, that, I mean, I get that. And yeah, that it depends on the situation because if we have plans and, oh, well, she wants to go shopping or something, oh, yeah, let's, let's yeah, we're going to handle this already. <laughs> yeah. No. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that, yeah, that would be probably something. It just, it's just a big switch. topic that I want to discuss because, you know, it's all it's one of them all over the place things. Yeah. People's minds go all over the place with that, and a lot of it is. Judgment from other people and how you, what you're thinking about other people don't think about. It. You know, it's just like the same as a one person relationship, two people relationship. You're supposed to think about what somebody else will think about y'all relationship. That's y'all relationship. You know, you can ask for advice all day, but at the end of the day, that's all it is is an opinion. I'm not telling you to go home and take my advice. You know what I'm saying? Use as you see fit. Yeah. yeah. Well, Logan, how you? If you if you open to like a oh, yeah. quality as much. Oh yeah, no. My whole You as a as who you are? Yeah. You know what work, right? Oh, what yeah. type of per, the type of dude you are. How do you think you set that up for them? It's just honesty. You just gotta like talk to me. That's, that's number one. Like you just gotta let me know about you can't if I find out you're sneaking, no. Cause I'm not I'm not gonna sneak. I'm gonna like, hey, I'm going out with Susie or some shit. Like, I'm gonna let you know. The white is white. <laughs> hey, I'm, okay, I'm gonna go out with Trina. Oh, that's white as hell too. Never mind. <laughs> but, yeah. What did it? But like, what? There we go. Like, I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. I'm with you. But what boundaries would you have if that was your situation? Kind of like how Gwen was saying. Like, if you cancel some shit to go out with this dude, but we already had plans, and it's not an important that no. We already had it planned, respect. and if it, the person ain't dying, and yeah. you cancel, or you're stuck on side of the road somewhere. Yeah. So you you're willing to be with like a female that has another dude. Yeah, if you just said you better than another dude. Yeah. Well, I have another girl. Yeah, but see, that's, that's not. Where, I'm, yeah, I'm not that's playing that game. Like if me, know. like if me and Austin were in that situation, I I don't I would not want the other female to have somebody else. I don't know. Just for the simple fact, if I know you're here doing stuff with us or whatever. I don't know these other people you'd be fooling with, so you I What me, if you did? I would still want her to be, I don't know. That's, that's what I'm the hard saying. One. Yeah, like, that's what, not what something. What if you did, no. She was only messing with one guy. Yeah. She still clean. That's the other thing. I, I think I would have to be in that situation. What she, what she would have going on elsewhere wouldn't bring no drama to what you got. But yeah, but job got going. how is that deal in the family if she's yeah, got somebody yeah. on the side too? I, I get what you're saying. They were saying it was your category. Yeah, well, 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 see, everybody's going to be different. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. See, my in thing, my situation, I don't think I'd handle yeah. that. Listen, I'll be a senior one. Fuck it up. Nah. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, <laughs> if you're ours, you're ours. I don't, mm, I don't now, think I can do it. That's just an open relationship. Just, yeah. hey, yeah. we're kicking it. Now, if 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 I'm like with what you and, and Oscar got, okay, yeah, no, you need to be one and done. Like, you need to be with us or not. Yeah. If it's just my age right now, and I'm just living life, if I got a girl and... So you're saying we old or something? Damn. No, I'm not saying you old. Damn, Logan. But Damn. I'm... Okay, man. I I'm, know I'm different. different. I, I'm, I get the only pain going inside is me. But I... Inside. The only way I could feel comfortable, I know dude's clean. Yeah. I know there ain't any diseases. No, he ain't messy. I know he ain't messy. I know who the motherfucker is, first of all. So I know he's actually not any type of weirdo, he's not gonna bring any type of like drugs, any type of like weird, like no sketchiness. I think it's all in your own mindset of what, yeah. Like, you can handle what you can handle. Yeah. Is, like yeah. I would need to know it's a genuine good dude. And then I would expect her to know that whoever I'm messing with that she's a genuine good girl. So you're more or less, you just want to open a relationship. Like, more or less right now, that's what you're discussing. You're not talking about polygamy. I'm not chill or whatever. If you want to keep it one and done, cool. If you want to open, if I like you enough, cool. But keep it a hundred. But but just be honest. Up front, yeah. What about you, Zach? What do you think of it? Was positive, open or positive? Poly. That'd be hard. Like you had to find the right situation. For that. And that's what I'm saying. So I don't even know if I would even. If the situation may come, yeah, I might play that. But as far as me trying to set that up, nah, I'm not. Think it's too much work. For sure. <laughs> For sure. Too much work. I already know because when me and O talk, I'm like, well, how would you handle this? Uh, uh, I ain't thought about that part. Well, what is we talking about? Every time I mean, we got certain know. questions, you're you like, don't, uh. Know, you don't know until some stuff you don't know until some things come up. Yeah. We can talk about it all day. Yes, everything sounds good, 
But as far as how that conversation gonna start off, you don't know. And that's another you don't know. why I prefer just us two, just me and her. That's why I prefer because I'm like, okay, now I gotta figure out is she comfortable with this? Cause say me and the other one break up and this main one that I'm with, now Savon's one new. Now she has to get to know, get to know what she's like, get to know her schedule, all the it's a lot of effort. And half the time it's more stress than I wanna do. Yeah. That's why I prefer me and her, that's it. Yeah. But I'm open to that fact of I mean, yeah. Yeah, if I, yeah. 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 Like I'm not ever gonna say I'm not gonna do it, because I don't know. You saying you would do an open look at the relationship and let her have her freedom too? Do you think that would change if you actually experience that? Because that is a thing too. Now, if she's doing a lot of spending more time with him and like not equal type of thing, kind of how we were saying, if it's not being equal, okay, then I'm gonna be like, all right, what, what's going on? Nah, it's not equal here like it used to be. So then I'm gonna be like, okay, we, we need to talk, we need to sit down, we need to figure it out. So either I can keep it pushing or we can work it out. That's why I couldn't do an open relationship. And that's why I'm like, it's a lot of stress. I think it's more stress being in an open relationship than it is just bringing a girlfriend yeah. and being like, hey, this is us. And you're, that's the thing. Is like, you're having to worry about what she's got going, where she's at. It's, I can, and that's why I like right I'm stressing now. up in my own zone. I can't stress for me and you too. And that's why I'm like, I'm open to it, but it would, you would have to like really have those deep, serious conversations if you really wanted to work. You're going to actually have to sit down and for real talk. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many different ways you can play it. I've seen people that are like, in an open relationship, but a woman don't want to know what's going on. Exactly. There's a lot of women like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you flip the page, just like you would like to know what's going on. Yeah, I'm not comfortable with not knowing. About head, me baby. not knowing yeah. makes me worry more. If he can be like, hey, this is what I'm doing, okay, cool. But when, like, we, like, before, right, when me and O broke up and all that stuff and we were working on get back together, question, which, you know, no, just tell me what you're doing. So, and if I got a problem, I'm going to tell you. But if I got to go through your phone or if I got to look, I got to find out, I got a creep to come find you, uh-uh. And I'm already a little bit crazy. Just tell me what you're doing so we good. And if I don't like it, I'm going to tell you. But I don't want, I don't need, my mind will start going, oh, this, I can't, I, I just need to know. <laughs> no, I, that's honestly yeah, absolutely reasonable. That's just my biggest thing. It's just the honesty. Just the you, we we are two grown adults, maybe three grown adults, maybe four. So whoever knows, we need to sit down and actually just talk. Like there's no reason to sneak around. If we're in an open relationship. Why the hell are you sneaking? I know exactly. you're going off doing other things. You know I'm going off doing other things. Why can't we just sit? Hey, I'm chilling with this dude. I'll be back. You know, whatever. I bet I'm chilling with her. I'll be back. But you also have them like. He knows he's worse too though. Like you can get with somebody and it's all cool at first and then y'all discuss wanting open or whatever. And then the girl's just that shit crazy. But then that's when you got to know who you're with. Really if he, like the girl you've been with, okay, any situation, like any people, you could be with somebody for however long and y'all just like, oh, I want to be with somebody else. Like I, I want to be with you, but I want to do this. And then like, she's always so cool with good. Then some female though will say all that to make you happy and then turn out to be bad shit. But I'd rather you just say I don't like that. Yeah, I mean, instead of accepting it. Because when you go bad shit crazy, I'm gonna be who the one losing in the relationship. Yeah, I'm gonna be so bad shit crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna be confused. That's when you're gonna have cool with you, like man, yeah, fuck you. They get the fuck out of here. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be you so lost the whole thing like, when you were supposed to party it exactly. to begin with. Yes, no, I'd rather you just shoot it down, tell me straight up that's yeah. dumb, and everything yeah. I don't want to do it, yeah. then say yeah, it's cool. A couple months down the line, then you snap. Blow up on me because I'm gonna be like, it was cool. You said it was cool. Exactly. Like, I'm all for it. Just be honest with me. Don't let me find out something later. Because now later's came and pull my backpack out and we're gonna have a problem. Just tell me. <laughs> I don't need to find out stuff later. Ignit. <laughs> and who have I been around forever? <laughs> who, taught, who got me the backpack? Uh, <laughs> yeah, so just roll on out of the chair. It is though. Take my shit out of my time. <laughs> Come on, man. 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 You care about talking like your past situation? Yeah, go ahead. So, you saying with that approach, for you to open relationship, you would let her have her freedom too. Mm -hmm. But with your past relationship, do you feel like, because you didn't mind her hanging out with 
girlfriend and girlfriends. No. Do you not see how that may could have like slipped on me a little bit? Now, yes. Because, but also there goes back to there were. The Sorry. Community, the community I was going to say, what do you guys have to say? Sorry, I got to tap in on them. Got to tap in on them. Maybe in a different situation. Yeah. Maybe in a different situation. But the one she went to? Nah. He, he pried his way into that shit. <laughs> but didn't know him. Didn't know him at the time. Yeah. He yeah. pried his way into that shit. But. But you trusted the girl. Was, I, I think, I think deep I down inside. I didn't enough not to think she would I hurt you. I think deep down inside, it wasn't nothing he was going to be able to do people. Yeah. No, I don't. And the way I looked at it, and I told her straight up when we first got together, I said, look, all I want you to tell me the truth. If you cheated on me, if you did something and you let me know, I'm going to be less mad than if I find out from somebody else. Or I find out wrong. And, like, that's the thing. Hey, you going to hang out with such and such, all right, bet. You already know how I feel. You already know what I expect. If I find out something and it's not from you, it's gonna be a problem. Mm -hmm. That's That was my only thing about it. Yep. And whatever happened, if there was stuff that wasn't said, I don't wanna know now. Cause all that's gonna do is piss me off. Yep. I'd rather just die. I'd rather just die off and I never find out or never figure it out. You tapping in on this subject later too. Just let y'all know that. Let y'all know that. I ain't letting them go. I ain't letting them go. I don't think my boy can either. I don't think my boy can either, but it's just gonna have to be discussed at some point. But no games. But to speak on that, if I knew what I knew now, no. And that's just because of who it was. Sure. And Everybody can say whatever they want. Yeah. There was, was your relationship. There was, there was, it was my relationship. That's what I'm talking about. And there was too much shadiness going on once it ended that wasn't adding up. And I just, I don't know. Shadiness is part of his game, part of his name. <laughs> but, Real talk. But to also to address that too. That's You're dead. better off now than you are. It's, That's all that matters. It's dead, buried. I got opportunities coming my way. I wish none but the best from them. Right. If they, if they rocking, they rocking. Yep. Um. But they really ain't rocking. But. You, you say that, but that, that don't like still trigger you a bit, though. It's going on. I think it's something I mean, that always trigger you. It could. It does still get under my skin just because of the fact that. We were supposed to be boys, you know. This was my, this was my dude, mm -hmm. and you know I came to him for certain things after, and to find out that from someone else completely, instead of him, just being like, hey, it is what it is, and me just being like, I respect, I'm gonna keep my place though, because I don't want to be around him. But to find out how it happened, and then to find out that. He didn't want me to know. Snake shit. <laughs> I just, it, it does still get under my skin if I think about it, but then I'm like, fuck it. I got too much stuff going on that's better for me mentally, and I'm just better off without it. All right. I get, I feel you. I feel you. And you, uh, I salute you. How you handle it? How you handle it now? And that's the other thing. No beef with it. Mm -hmm. Didn't start no shit. I was the only one in this friend group that apparently didn't trip. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, bro, I'm the only one in this motherfucker not angry about it. And I was in the relationship. Yeah. And a couple of them didn't understand. I said, why am I going to make drama? Why am I going to start shit? But they already. Because it's fun. It's not. That friend group is used to being in everybody's business with each other. And I, I'm not that. So that's why it, that played out. I keep it yeah. pushing and I mind my business because at the end of the day, what am I going to reverse? What, what what was I going to reverse? Nothing. So why am I going to stress? Why am I going to bitch? I got in my feelings. Yeah, I got in my we, feelings. We, we all do. And 
you know, hit the gym, listen to music, got out of my feelings, and now I'm here. I went through my little sad boy shit, and now I'm back. Yeah, I ain't like that little small kid that had to <laughs> pick you a little, little bit head around me because that would, I wouldn't let that fly. Oh, yeah, no. Because Zach don't be going through it like everybody else. Zach just pushing on and like don't show emotion. He just one and done. He don't he don't let his shit show. He may be go home and be fucked up, but if anything fucks with him and outside of around people, he just that face right there. That's all you see. You don't see shit. Christmas presents, anything that cool. Thank you. Right. I spent time on this. I ain't gonna lie. I mean that, that's the thing that hurt the most. Oh no the, I, the time you spent on it. I will say what hurt the most. this boy there was one time I don't know. I don't even remember what I said. It was probably some type of sad ass shit. Because all I hear, I'm you getting in this fucking car. He texts me something. He's like, I'm on my way or something. I was like, what you mean? He was like, I'm on my way. I said, you don't have to do that. And then he, he I guess, ignored it because the next text was outside. I guess I'm getting picked up. <laughs> I would. I'm going through it. I'm going through it here and there for a while. You know, yeah, I had somebody to help me out. Here and there, words of encouragement and stuff, but it's like I I wasn't really too big on like posting my deep shit yeah. on social media, but I started to. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, yeah, I'm a man, but fuck it, you know. Yeah. You can judge me by my by what I'm going through and right that's now. How I got. But half people thought it hit me back too. Like man, I'm going through the same thing, and I feel you. Mm-hmm. But when I post something, my boy was the first one in there. You good? All the time. You good? I'm like, man, I needed that. He, I remember one time, that. I was straight. I was okay. I just posted a depressing song. First thing, you good? I'm like, I'm actually okay this time, my boy. <laughs> I just like yeah. this song. I, I was just vibing to the song. Because <laughs> the generation we got now, they kind of like... Suicide on the motherfucker. They like the sad soul yeah. shit. I'm like... You gotta yeah, check on somebody. That was one of the things where it took a lot for me to post some stuff. Oh, yeah. Me being who I am, it took... I can make snaps, Facebook and status all day long about anything. Yeah. When it came to what I was going through or me being hurt, I posted it, it took me not to do that. Mm-hmm. So. But no, and then, and then it kind of, I don't know about you, but then it hit it to a point where you would post that and then I just sit there and I'm like, the fuck am I bitching about? And then I just immediately deleted it right after. I did a couple of times. I did a couple times. Some of them I was so low. Yeah, but like, I, as like I got up there, I would post something and I'd be like, you know, kind of in my feels, and I'd look at it and I'm like, why the fuck am I posting this? I There's no post, reason to. I made a post one day. I hurry up and took it down because it's like 30 seconds after I posted, it said I'm not okay. 30 seconds after I posted, I looked up, my daughter was looking at me. Damn. I'm like, she just saw what I posted. I deleted it. But I could help how I'm feeling. For me to post it. Oh, yeah, no. And at that point on, I had to start letting it out. Mm-hmm. If you don't let it out, who knows what it could lead to? Oh, it gets bad. Because I can. I'll like, at it. that time, we heard, we heard about famous people commit suicide and this and that. So I was like, kind of like my proper help. Because I don't want to just show up to anybody's face because I need help. Oh, yeah. So that was kind of like my little thing. Zach was always first one. Oh, yeah, no. Good, good. I just need to vent. And I need to vent and do whatever. Bring me back up a little bit. And I don't care to air this out because it is what it is. I don't care to let people know what I am because he knows about it. But back when, like, at Mac and JHS, I had major depression. He's known all about it. And it's it, it's gotten bad sometimes where, you know, I do the whole, hey, you know, I appreciate y'all, you know, rah, rah. It's, it's been a good run. Yeah. Um, so... That, of course, I think was another thing because I would love fuck. Yeah. And, like, I did not care. Like, I was, like, it is what it is with everything. And, I don't know, it was that depression hit, wasn't taking my meds like I should have, stopped doing that. Um, and I think it was, it was something you said, honestly, that just kicked me in the ass. And it was, you a 20 year old with your own place, a good ass car, good ass physique, bro, you straight, calm down. It's one and done. You better off without it. Yeah, because you were talking about the expectations of your family. Yeah. And that's how it came about. And, and that's the other thing. 
but him just being like, bro, you better off without him. Just kicked me in the ass. And I was sitting there and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm good. Uh, sometimes you just need that. You just need that for real. How we go from always talking about the sad shit? That's what I was about Pick to say. Pick it back up. There's a little about it when I did. I just did off a little bit. Everybody here. Gee, you know what I'm saying? Anyway. Everybody here has answered that question but you. I answered it. They didn't. What's up? When we were talking about toys and we opened all that. What did I not answer? You didn't answer none of it, really. As in, how I felt about it? Yeah. What are you, like, what are your expectations? How would you see that working? Or, like, in today's generation? I was right there with you on everything. But, like we said, number one thing to it, honesty. Honesty before everything. If we can build a hundred, we going all the way, baby. But do you feel like there's honesty between the two people? All three. Okay. All three. That would have to be. You know what I'm saying? No. no. <laughs> All three. Yeah. Like you said, you you the what would you call it? You the, the best friend. Uh you the best friend. Sister wife, however you wanna put it. You know. Yeah. Well, you was you you know, we we know. All right, y'all done anything? Yeah, told you what happened, did it. Okay. Everybody on the same page. Ain't no secrets. Ain't no secrets. Yeah, you can go out on a date with this person. Yeah, you can go out on a date with this one. Just don't make one with this one. Cancel it for somebody unexpected. Unless it was an immersion. And how do you feel being seen in public with two women at the same time? Me personally? You can look at me how you want to look at me. Family, if they have something to say about it, I ain't care what they got to say. They've been saying that's pimping. See, what I say? Jake said that I was going to punch him in his face. I told Oscar this earlier. First thing Jake's going to say, I'm going to stick his ass. But, and and so, here we go. But I'm saying that somebody's going to sit down in public, that's what exactly what I'm Here we go. I told Oscar, if I heard you say that, I said, That's all for us to laugh at when we sit down at the restaurant. Uh, what the fuck y'all looking at? You know what I'm saying? Go about your business. Go about your business. We being us. This is a family right here. We being us. And that's the other thing. You can't, yes, it's hard, and I've had to learn that too. You can't let your family sway you. You can't let nobody sway you. We got together and we, what, 14, 15? Oh, he's a black man. You can't let nobody sway you. I ain't let nobody even know. Be in my business. Yeah. Look what everybody else is. Are we judging it? No. Being seen like that, everybody's gonna be in your business regardless. I, I've, like been, I've been seen a certain way since I got with you. Yeah. Walking through the mall, everything. I was a big black dude, little white girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they went a bunch of different ways. They went a bunch of different ways. I can't argue with you the police pull up. We know how that's gonna go. I could have been when I did shit. We know how that's gonna go. Walking through the mall, people look. Mm-hmm. Black girls looking at you. Are right, you taking our man? Yeah, I want to get. Who's to say if I walk with you that I would be with you? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I ain't worried about what nobody got to say. Just like I did back then. I heard that picture. Right, they taking our man. <laughs> Don't mean I'm gonna be with you. Yeah, right. <laughs> Move so, on to the next. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm doing what I'm at. So it wouldn't bother me at all. It's our business. Other people knew about it, found out about it. Oh well. Oh well. Because guess what? Half of them hate. Half of them don't want to be just like it. <laughs> right or wrong. No, no, that's true. That's true. You don't have it all the way around. And you don't want to be it. And half the time when they're hating, they're really just wanting to be in your spot. Exactly. Because guess what? Mine's going to be taken care of. <laughs> we good. We good. Everything I got, good. Kids, everything. We ain't going to worry about nothing. You get to worry about what other people think. You allow that to be in your head, and it's gonna slow you down and take your focus off of the bigger picture. Mm-hmm. You know, can't do that. Can't do that. Have your business build. Don't let people judge you how they gonna want to judge you. People judge us every day. Off of anything, oh. anything and everything we do, people judge. Oh, people probably judge us because. I know probably most of my family's like, oh, you shouldn't say that on the, on the internet. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I got a grievance. I'm going to say it. <laughs> I, been, I was judged at least 
seven, eight years, people thought I was one of the biggest drug dealers over there. Yeah, From the stuff that I was doing, cars, rims, this and that. Back then, it was just ideas. I knew what I wanted. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So people still, they're going to do it regardless. I say just let them watch. Yeah. We'll do it regardless. I kind of want to go back to like uh, being 100 and telling like the truth, mm-hmm. being honest. I feel like in some situations, though, some of the people can't handle the truth. Yeah. Is the reason is the reason why some people may hide stuff and not be. Yeah, important. and that's a big thing with a lot of things. Like when me and I talk about it, if he can't be honest with me and I can't be honest with him, then there's no point in trying to bring somebody else in. Exactly. And then you've got to also think about if they can be honest. So that's the other hard part. So if you sit there and start caring about somebody and they can't be honest, that throws another hole because then somebody's feelings get hurt and then you're sitting there wondering. And it ain't just like him wondering; it'd be both of us wondering. Well, so it can go a lot of ways. Yeah. The trust would have to be there between everybody. The, the big part about that whole aspect of a relationship is just on trust and just communication. But then right. a lot of people see it wrong too, though, because look how long he knows already been together. So it's a lot of coming into a full blown. I mean, we've been together forever, so they're coming into something that's already established, and that. A lot of people don't see that working just because they've already been together this long. If something happens, he's going to choose her anyways, you know? Where I come in with that is, like you said, we've been together this long and it's already established. Okay, we good. So, we bring this one in, we getting up on the same page as us. You with us. A lot of people can't handle that, though. They can't handle coming into something that's so established already and they're not used to that or don't have that, seeing that. And in their mind, always, well, if... I pick a fight or something happens, he's going to say, we're going anyway, so look how long they've been together anyway. That's going to be in some people's minds just because look at everything we've already been through and we've made it out on top. So the females we have talked about stuff like that, you also got to think about how strong their mindset is too because can they handle, if there is an argument, can you talk it out the right way without just throwing up with and saying, fuck it anyways because you're going to stay with one regardless. Or all the time, see, that's all it takes is that communication. Yeah. Talk, talk it out and keep rolling. Nobody on the outside got to know what y'all are arguing about. Argue, handle your business, y'all back like this. But it's all just back to the communication. Yeah. I mean, That's I think it, nowadays communication can solve ninety percent of the fucking yeah. problems. If, if people would just talk and just communicate and actually listen, like actually open their ears and actually fucking listen, it would go a long way. Yeah. All a lot of problems would not be problems. Nope. But there's some people that just don't get it. Well, some people you can argue all day ahead. long with somebody and tell them exactly what you want, and they still go to the exact opposite. Exactly. So it really, it's just it depends on the people in the situation, honestly. Yeah. And there's just some, like you guys said, there's just some people that are just too stubborn, and they'll never get as much as you say it, as much as you beat it to them. They'll never listen. It takes a lot. I mean, like in any old situation, we split up two years, and a lot of that was just because he would tell me, "This is what we need to do." No. I want it my way, and I want my way now. And I was like, I'm, no. And I'm, I'm, I'm stubborn as hell. I, I get it. I know why some people are that way, but you really have, if that's what you want, you got to get out of your comfort zone. You got to get out of your own mindset and make it work as a group, or it's just never. It's just you can't always put yourself first. No, it's a fifty-fifty in any relationship. I don't think I, I don't think I've really ever done that. Put myself first. I'm be a big part and all that. No, that's been a lot of your downfalls, though. Not necessarily downfalls, but that's been a lot of your heartache or your drama or not sitting and thinking about this is what I need to do for myself. Even with me, you tried to make sure I was straight and I I wasn't fucked up and all that. I mean, even with me, it came to a lot of your problems. But even with other people that you've dated, you always put them first instead of thinking about, damn, this is what I really need right now. Let me think about me. And I can say that because you did it with me. I drug you through that motherfucker. I know and then watching you get drugged through with other shit, you, you, you should have put yourself first, even with me a couple of times. But, I mean, I get it. You let your heart get the best of you, and you're always worried about what everybody else needs or wants instead of yourself. I've learned a lot from I've learned a lot from it. I've learned a lot from it. I've been able to boss up from it. But definitely, because I see a lot with us, we definitely need to stop putting everybody before we. And I think that's what you've told me a lot, and, and you've helped me understand it a lot. Like, look, it's cool to 
taking care of and being a good boyfriend or just being a good person in that person's life. But it gets to a point where, like you were telling me, they not at it. They not doing it. Opinions? Yeah. You could go on a lot longer, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a three, four. Hey, there y'all go, folks. There we, there you have it, man. We, we got our opinions out there on the topic. You may think different. You know it is what it is. That's how the game goes. But appreciate y'all tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. God bless.